So the Surface Design Association recently asked me to do a one or two minute video about my process. And so I had to clean up my studio. The video is done and it focuses exclusively on the Emerging Pocket Keep series. But before I mess up the studio again, I thought it'd be kind of fun to just do a little walking tour and show you what's going on here with these encaustic and mostly deconstructed clothing items are becoming. Just playing with all different weights of fabric and seeing what I can do. Quite solid. Old journals, paper squished up into this rosette thingy, pockets, translucency, more pockets, creating my own fasteners. These are just black linen, little strips rolled up around a paintbrush handle and encausticized. Here's a sculpture in progress, some wire armature. For me, it's all about the stitching right now mostly by hand. Some pieces are done on the machine, which is on the dining room table. Not quite room enough here for that. But you see, I stitch these and I make components and this will be waxed. It'll be immersed in this medium when it's molten. Room temperature now. And then the components will be, after they're encausticized, you get this leather-like structure and there we go. I just keep adding and adding and changing and bending and stitching. I'm having a great time. Oh, here's my momigami pile that would help me make. It's all fluffed up. It's more like cloth and paper now. It's all old journals, his and mine. Here's the prototype. Ripped up journals, stitched together, encausticized, and now you've got, I'm going to make yards of this fabric and perhaps make a garment. One of my larger pieces, still in progress, but getting there. Okay, I gotta slip around that bright light. Some painting going on. And materials. my sweet but sharp mannequin and a few more paintings on this wall some potential sculpture elements hello <laughs> a few minimalist pieces that i'm particularly enamored with okay so that's my half of the studio. And of course my paints.
Thanks for walking around my studio with me.